This is a wall sit with alternating leg kicks. It's exactly what it sounds like. You're sitting up against a wall here and you're gonna alternate between uh, each leg coming up and extending straight forward with that heel, doing like a little bit of forward kick there and setting it back down. Let's look at the, from the top, getting into position. You can use your hands, lean, help lean yourself back against the wall as you step your feet far enough forward so that you can sit down, so that your spine's up nice and tall, knees are in line with the feet, but your knees are not past your toes. Don't step into this position and try to sit into this and having your knees past your toes. It's just it's not the point. It's like you're trying to actually sit into an invisible chair. The wall is the back of the chair. And you're only gonna go as, as low as you're able to tolerate pain-free with good form on one foot at a time. So make sure you're testing that out before you go down to your lowest position. Don't sink down super deep and just start going for it. It's a lot of pressure on one knee. So start up top here, do a couple reps, make sure that feels okay. And if that feels all right, you can lower yourself down to wherever you're able to. From that position there, uh, let's take a look at where we're sta our stabilization is. Uh, feet are about hip width apart. Our feet are parallel with our second and third toes facing straight forward. And then from there, my knees are gonna be in line with their irrespective foot there, right through the middle, not in the inside or the outside, but right in line with the foot. Hips, upper back and head are up against the wall here. And I'm gonna draw in my core musculature, doing an abdominal brace, bracing those muscles in towards my spine. I'm gonna keep this all nice and steady as I then alternate between lifting a knee up and doing a front kick with the heel and then setting that back down. If you got tight hamstrings, you're gonna feel that resistance. The quad's gonna to have to struggle a little bit to extend that leg. Um, might need to work on some hamstring flexibility if that's the case. Uh, or just work on some quad strengthening. Whatever way it is, you're just alternating back and forth. And when you set that foot back down, it should be going right back down to this good alignment. Ideally, hip width apart to keep your balance. You might find yourself drifting a little bit closer to center with each step, but the most important part is that your feet are facing straight forward. Again, that's the second, third toes facing forward. Knees in line with the middle of his feet. So when that foot comes back down, bam, it's right where it started. Kick that heel, bam, right where I originally placed it. Knee in line with the foot, toes straight forward there, alternating back and forth. If you're able to keep your feet hip width apart, you're gonna feel a little bit more core stability going on, holding up that side of your hips while the other leg's up in the air. You can do fast kicks, slow kicks, whatever the passive tempo or pacing you've been given is. You're counting this out with a number of kicks. That's your full set, and then you press off the wall with your hands, stand back up tall, relax, take it easy before you go into your next set, counting again the kicks on each leg. So one rep is a kick with each leg. One, one, two, two, three, three. Don't cut that in half. That's your full set there. And those are your wall sits with an alternating leg kick.